This figure is a right triangle, find the value of x, y, and z. To solve this problem, let's label this point A, this B, this C, and this D. Let's observe that there are three right triangles in this figure. Triangle ACD, Triangle ABD, and Triangle ABC. So, to find the value of x, y, and z, we are going to apply Pythagoras' theorem in each triangle. In Triangle ACD, y squared plus c squared is equal to 12 squared. Let's call this equation 1. In triangle ABD, x squared plus c squared is equal to 9 squared. Let's call this equation 2. And in triangle ABC, x plus y squared is equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. 9 squared is 81, and 12 squared is 144. 81 plus 144 is equal to 225. So, x plus y squared is equal to 225. Let this be equation 3. From this equation, taking the square root of both sides will give us x plus y is equal to 15. Let this be equation 4. Next, let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Doing so will give us y squared minus x squared is equal to 12 squared minus 9 squared. 12 squared is 144 and 9 squared is 81. 144 minus 81 is equal to 63. So, y squared minus x squared is equal to 63. Let's call this equation 5. If we factor the left side of equation 5, we will have y minus x times y plus x is equal to 63. Let this be equation 6. But y plus x is equal to 15 in equation 4, if we go ahead to substitute y plus x as 15 in equation 6, it follows that y minus x times 15 is equal to 63. Next we divide both sides by 15. 15 will cancel out 15, and 63 over 15 can be reduced to give us 21 over 5. So that, y minus x, will be 21 over 5. Let's call this equation 7. Going further, let's subtract equation 7, from equation 4. Doing so will give us. 2x, is equal to 15 minus 21 over 5. Next we simplify the right side. To do so, let's take their lowest common denominator which is 5. 1 into 5 is 5, and 5 times 15, is 75. 5 into 5 is 1, 1 times 21, is 21. 75, minus 21, is 54. So, 2x is equal to 54 over 5. Next we find x by dividing both sides by 2. 2 will cancel 2, 54 divided by 2 is 27. And we are left with, x is equal to 27 over 5. To find y, we substitute x as equal to 27 over 5, 
in equation 7. It follows that y minus 27 over 5 is equal to 21 over 5. Making y, the subject of the formula will give us y is equal to 21 over 5 plus 27 over 5. On the right side, 21 over 5, plus 27 over 5, can be written as 21 plus 27, all over 5 since both have the same denominator, which is equal to 48 over 5. So, y is equal to 48 over 5. Now we have gotten the value of x, and y. We can plug in the value of y in equation 1, to find z, or plug in the value of x in equation 2, to find z. In this case we will plug in the value of x in equation 2. Doing so will give us 27 over 5 squared plus z squared is equal to 9 squared. So that, z squared will be equal to 9 squared minus 27 over 5 squared. 9 squared is 81, and 27 over 5 squared is 729 over 25. Going further, we solve the terms on the right side, by taking their lowest common denominators which is 25. 1 into 25, is 25, and 25 times 81 is 2025. 20, 25 into 25 is 1 and 1 times 729 is 729. 2025 minus 729 is 1296. So, z squared is equal to 1296 over 25. Taking the square root of both sides will give us z is equal to 36 over 5. Hence, x is equal to 27 over 5, y is equal to 48 over 5 and z is equal to 36 over 5 thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more